Hello everyone, my name is Nancy and welcome to Flexaily HRMS Playbook Mastering Modern HR. In today's video, we'll be exploring the Manager Dashboard with Flexaily HRMS from an HR perspective and examining how our powerful features distinguish us from the other solutions in the market. Before we begin, be sure to check out the playlist link in the description to catch up on the previous episodes. And as always, don't hesitate to reach out to have any questions. We are here to help. So let's get started. The first thing we have is Manage Recruitment. The Manage Recruitment section comprises six distinct options to streamline the hiring process. The first card becomes visible only when the manager is mapped to the respective department, ensuring that only authorized individuals can initiate or oversee recruitment activities for their teams. The Manage CV Approval section allows you to check approved CVs and track those still pending approval. You can view the number of CVs left for approvals along with the key details such as the requisition name, department, recruiter, and requisition start date. Under the action column, you will find two optional which are view CV approval and view job description. The next section which is create new requisition is used to create new requisition for hiring. By simply clicking on new requisition and entering the relevant details, manager can initiate the requisition process. Once submitted, the data is displayed with fields including job title, job code, requisition status, location, and an auction column. The action column includes three options which are view, view approvals, and copy requisition. The view option allows you to review the detailed enters during the requisition creation. While the view approvals enables tracking of the CVs that have been approved for the respective requisition. Moving forward, in the requisition dashboard, it is similar to the job opening section within the recruitment module. This section provides a comprehensive view of the number of openings currently available in the organization. Next, we have interview feedback section. This is designed for sharing feedback from the candidate interview. It includes two options, pending and submitted. The pending section displays interview reviews that are yet to be provided, while the submitted section contains all the feedback that has already been some completed. The next card we have is Manager Dashboard. This card enables managers to effectively track their team members' productivity, attendance, and leave. Upon clicking the card, you will be presented with several options. If an employee of his team has submitted a request to regularize their attendance or applied for leave, clicking on either option will take you directly to the relevant section that is, regularize attendance or leave approval. As you scroll further, you will find details such as the average team work time, average organization work time, and penalty leave deduction. The average organization work time reflects the total working hours of your team over the past 30 days. Below this section, you can view the average leave balance of your team and identify which members are currently on leave. Additionally, the dashboard provides insights into any team members who frequently arrive late and highlights individual scheduled to be on leave for more than three days in the upcoming month. The final row is to track the subordinate who have not taken any leave for the past two months and you can check birthdays and anniversaries of your team. These features empowers managers to stay informed and take proactive action through a single integrated approach. The next feature we have is Manage Attendance and Leave. This section is designed for regularizing team member attendance and approving leave requests. It also provides the functionality to export data in Excel format for convenient record keeping. Within the Leave Approval section, you can view the details 
of leave application submitted by subordinates. Additionally, it highlights whether any applied leave overlaps with that of the other team members. You can also have the option to review a subordinate's leave history to support informed decision making. Manager can view attendance and leave records for all their MAP team members in one place and take the necessary actions as all relevant data for their group is visible on the screen. Xeri offers a dedicated attendance dashboard. It allows manager to regularize their team members' attendance directly by searching for their name, which eliminate the need to wait for a request from the individual. Once a team member is selected, a calendar for the current month will be displayed. To proceed, check the box located above the relevant date. This will activate the regularize attendance option at the top left corner of the screen. Click on it and fill in the necessary details to complete the process. The screen is accessible to managers and they can use it to regularize attendance for any team member mapped under their supervision. The next thing we have is leaves. This card enables managers to apply for leave on behalf of their team members. View any pending leave request and check each team member's leave balance up to the current date. To initiate a leave application, begin by selecting the leave type, which displays the options available. Next, choose from and to dates. If the leave is for half day, simply click on the half day checkbox. This will automatically populate the duration. Finally, select the appropriate reason from the drop down menu to complete the application. This screen is accessible to managers and allow them to manage leave data for all the team members mapped under their supervision. The next is team client visit. Is your team at the client's visit? view, track or verify their on-site attendance via this card. When a team member submits a client visit request, it will be visible in this section. You can review the captured location, check-in time and the photo uploaded by the team members. Relevant data can be displayed by selecting the individual from the list and, the specify and specifying the from and to dates. Additionally, you can download the attendance timesheet by selecting the appropriate payroll month and team member. This section also enables manager to add on-site visit for dates which when their team members miss to do the same. Just search in and select your reportee's name, attendance date, location and the purpose of their visit. The next section we have is Defined Roster. This section allows you to create a new roster for a team member by entering key details. Begin by specifying the individual for whom the roster is being created, followed by assigning shift and the applicable month. It is mandatory to provide both the from and the to dates for the roster period. Once this is done, you can add additional information such as the shift group, applicable days, preferred work location, weekly time off and the designated shifting starting from the selected date. Moving forward, the next is manager timesheet. When a team member uploads their timesheet, it is submitted to the manager and becomes visible on the screen for action. The manager can view timesheet categorized as pending, approved or rejected. A filter option is available to help quickly access timesheets submitted by specific team members. The data is presented with key details including the team member's name and code, location, week ID, date range, from and to, and the total hours worked for the week. The next is employee confirmation review. Through this section, the manager can manage confirmation process for their team members transitioning from the probation period. A filter is provided requiring the manager to specify the date of confirmation that is from and to, date of joining from and to, status and team member name. Once the filter is applied, the, dis the system displays the relevant data including the team member's name, approval type, date of joining, proposed date of confirmation, actual date of confirmation and action.
The next is learning. To create a new combination, click on the create new nomination button and complete the required fields including the individual being nominated, the selected session, the participating team member, justification for the training and the tentative training date. Once submitted, the nomination will be displayed with the key information such as the nomination code, course or session or new training, type, date requested, tentative training date and available actions. Within the nomination approval list, you can view the details of the approved nomination including the team member's name, employee's number, date of joining, designation, date requested, nomination status and corresponding action. For initiating a new training nomination, the data entered during the create new nomination process will be used. At this stage, you must provide the training name, justification and a tentative date for the session, which can be adjusted later if needed. Once all mandatory fields are completed, a unique system generated nomination code will be created. Please note that this code is auto-generated and cannot be modified. The next feature we have is expense approval section. Managers can review and track expense reports submitted by the team member in this section. The authority to view or approve these reports is defined by the configuration set by the admin. In certain scenarios, managers can have the necessary permission to approve expense reports depending upon the assigned settings. The data is displayed with the following details, which are team member name, legal entity, report name, claim date, reporting period, last approval date, claimed amount, and status. Within the action section, managers can approve or reject submitted expense report provided they have required excess rights. The next we have is manage appraisals. Manager can also initiate and manage team member appraisal through this section. An appraisal filter is provided requiring the manager to select the appraisal lounge and team member's name before applying the filter. Once applied, the system displays the appraisal date including the team member's name, appraisal round, current stage and available actions. This is resignation approval. After a team member submits a resignation request, it is forwarded to the manager for review. This section offers two key functionalities. The first is resignation approval, where the manager can view request categorized as pending, approved or rejected. Each entry displays the team member's name, resignation date, last working day as per policy, last working day as per approval and the actions available. Within the action section, manager can access comprehensive resignation details including the team member's exit questionnaire. Additionally, this section provides the option to assign a replacement approver which can be mapped directly to the action interface. The next is NDC clearance admin. During a team member's exit from the organization, the new dues clearance, which is NDC process, plays a vital role. In certain cases, managers are responsible for completing the clearance from their end based on assigned checklist. The NDC clearance section is divided into two categories, in progress and completed. In the in progress section, the data is displayed with the details such as team member's name, location, designation, last working day, checklist, status and action. The action column enables manager to perform their assigned tasks related to the clearance process directly. The next is initiate resignation by manager. 
managers have the authority to initiate the resignation process on behalf of a team member by searching for the team member's name the manager can begin the submission fields such as status notice period last working day as per policy shortfall of notice in days and the manager selected no higher reason will populate automatically the mandatory fields that must be completed include the resignation date exit type primary exit reason secondary exit reason last working day as per manager any additional comments if applicable and the team members personal conduct details for full and final communication the next is employee salary advance approval when a team member applies for a loan the request is reflected in the employee salary advance approval screen the loan related to data is presented with the following details team member's name requester's disbursement month requested loan amount comments provided by the team member approved loan amount approved disbursement month and the available actions moving forward the next is tickets approval when a team member raises a ticket it may be redirected to the manager for further actions particularly if the manager is the designated point of contact or assignee for that specific ticket type the ticket details are displayed within this section allowing the manager to review key information such as the team member's name ticket subject ticket type status date of creation and actions available the ticket approval section is divided into three tabs pending approved and rejected enabling the manager to effectively monitor and manage the status of each ticket thank you for joining me today in this episode of flexiali hrms playbook mastering modern hr we have covered essential features of the manager life cycle of the flexiali portal if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more insights into the flexiali hrms until next time keep exploring the flexiali portal and empower your hr practices for greater efficiency have a great day.